Mr. Beast's situation just got 10 times worse as Top Hat released his third video titled Mr. Beast's Secret CEO, which revealed that Mr. Beast allegedly hired more criminals in his company that is catered towards children. First of all, we have LaCoya Hill, who is the alleged former COO of Mr. Beast. In 2017, LaCoya Hill was running an adult entertainment event business in San Francisco called LaCoya Hill Entertainment. Uh, then in 2019, he was hired to Mr. Beast as a producer. Our party evolved into this place where you know you have the drag queens, the muscle daddies, the bears, the twinks, the like posh boy. Now I'm all for personal freedoms. I believe adults should be able to do whatever they want. However, I question what uh, qualified the sort of go-go dance drag daddy of San Francisco for a job producing YouTube content for children. But you know, it'd also be weird if, if Mr. Beast hired uh, Johnny Sins as the janitor, I guess. And who also used to run an adult entertainment company and he has been accused of the SA by numerous of his employees who are straight. We have Doc Pack revealing some texts from his connections that detail the thought process of the employees at Mr. Beast. Once Milakoya Hill was incorporated into the company and also go into detail as to how Mr. Beast tried to cover his situation about firing Lakoya. Beast employees uh, talking about Lakoya Hill. And uh, when I say verified former Mr. Beast employee, I had them send some form of proof. Um, I, I know who some of these people are. They just want to remain anonymous, but uh, you know, I'm willing to share this with like uh, an independent third party if, if it needs to happen. Personally, I don't think Mr. Beast is gonna deny sort of this LaCoya Hill story that I'm gonna show you. Uh, but here's the first testimony, and I'll say this person is, is especially credible in my opinion. I asked them, did you see or hear of any sexual misconduct at the company? They say, yes, LaCoya Hill, the current COO. In 2021, he had an assistant named Victim's Name. I heard LaCoya acted very inappropriately with Victim, booking hotel rooms with only one bed, walking around in his underwear, having Victim come to his house and showing him his sex toy collection. Just in general, LaCoya made Victim uncomfortable. Victim started complaining to higher-ups and a report got written. LaCoya was put on paid leave for like a month then Mr. Beast moved him to the dubbing company and he was hired back in 2023 and was promoted to COO, even though Jimmy, James, and Sue 100% know his history. Also, I heard that when Victim was let go, he was given $30,000 in severance. Uh, I could get you Victim's number. I don't know if he'd talk. Uh, I respond, yeah, that'd be great. Also, is there proof he moved to the dubbing company? I could look, it was the original dubbing company called Unilingo. Mr. Beast practically forced them to hire LaCoya and then they poached Unilingo's employees and copied their whole business and created Creator Global. Verified employee number two, asked them the same question, have you heard of any sexual misconduct at the company? And they say, yes, I don't know how to spell their name, but LaCoya, something like that. He was brought in last year after having not worked there for a year or so at a very high level. I respond, LaCoya Hill, they say, the reason he had been asked to leave previously is that he had sexually harassed someone that still worked at the company when he was brought back. Yes, LaCoya Hill. But they brought him back knowing he had sexually harassed an employee previously. And people often talk about LaCoya making them very uncomfortable on shoots. I verify employee number three. I'm looking into more accusations of sexual misconduct at the company, wondering if there's anything you could corroborate. Have you heard of anything about LaCoya Hill? They respond, the old gay guy who likes to bang 18-year-old straight employees. Yeah, I've heard of him. Anything non-consensual to your knowledge? I heard he got in trouble for hooking up with his 18-year-old straight assistant, but the company kept it quiet from what I heard. He's a producer and worked in the adult entertainment before Mr. Beast. Yeah, LaCoya Hill Entertainment. I heard he was fired for sexual harassment then brought back a year later. That's what I heard too. Employee number four. Do you know who LaCoya Hill is? Yes. And you're aware of the case that has been covered up for some time. Explain. Essayed multiple people, apparently roofied multiple people as well. A verified employee number five, I'll also say this person is especially credible, uh, but they worked there a while ago, like 2020, 2021, uh, around then. Okay, few things. LaCoya sexually assaulted his assistant who was straight and LaCoya was gay. You probably already know that, but James is best friends with him, so holy shit was that surprising that they kept him around way longer than they should have. There were reports of him making the assistant sleep in the same room slash bed with him on trips touching him inappropriately and dangling his job in front of him. Uh, employee number six, did you hear anything about LaCoya Hill? I heard that incident happened. I heard they let him go and I heard they brought him back and just put him in a different com department. And I think, I don't know, but I think he's working there again. Uh, now recently, Mr. Beast has let LaCoya Hill go. They had this sort of leaked email where they say, uh, 
Therefore, along with Jeff Hausenbold, our new president and COO, right? Alluding, alluding to the fact that La Quaya Hill is no longer working there. Uh, but one thing that bothers me much is that if La Quaya is actually the CEO of the Mr. Beast Enterprises, then the child slavery allegations could be true, considering the past career of Mr. Hill and his history of SA. It's no surprise that he will definitely try to employ cheap tactics to produce Mr. Beast's feastables. Secondly, we have the Mr. Beast allegations of him being a misogynist and not being able to form proper relationships with women and also the allegations of him being abusive to his ex-girlfriend who allegedly talked about him on her Insta and TikTok posts about how toxic him and his fan base are. Dogpack also proceeds to show messages regarding their female employees being objectified in their workflow basically insinuating a toxic workplace environment that resulted in one of the female employees to quit. Thirdly, we have James Warren, who is the current CEO of Mr. Beast Enterprises, and he basically have all of the alleged SA claims as well, basically SAing his own secretaries and such, which is downright horrifying to say the least when you think about how these people have the power to influence millions of children's lives. At this point, it's not Chris Tyson that groomed kids, just a whole Mr. Beast Enterprises that is grooming children on a large scale, and YouTube is doing nothing to stop it. Instead, YouTube is promoting more of Mr. Beast's content while shadow banning Dog Pack 404. That's right, you won't be recommended his DS video even if you type its exact name in the search bar. YouTube, please be better.